I'm 47. All right. Uh, what do you got for me? So, yeah, I wanted to know. I'm 47. Um, I've been married, but I've been, I'm have been i divorced. I have a 15-year-old son. And I want a high-value man. Why? Oh, that's a great question. Um, what is it? The why is, first, oh, I hope you don't eat me for this, but I feel like I deserve it. Mm. I feel well, worthy. Huh, that's nice. What makes you deserve somebody else's money? It's more about his energy. And so. What? I think. It's well, more about I, I it. said, um, it's, it's, it's more said about it. energy. Energy. No, I see, just, I, excuse me, man. Money. We, hold on, man. We don't pay mortgages and credit card bills energetically. We pay those out of money market accounts, checking accounts, hard currency. Don't give me energy. Okay. Give me reality. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So the question was, why am I deserving of his money? Yeah. 47 years Ooh, old. That's mm. such a good question. No, um, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yes. Did you go to college? Yes. You have a, did you go to graduate school? Yes. Master's? PhD? Yeah. Which Working one? on PhD right now. I'm a PhD. All right. And your ex-husband did what? <laughs> you know, oh gosh. My yeah. ex-husband was a, um. Yeah. He was a um, yeah junkyard teacher delivery, huh? Yeah, mm. and that's something. Yeah. So now you expect at almost half a hundred to just get a high value man after dating Fred Sanford. Mm. <laughs> I rebuke. Have you ever heard of World Star Hip Hop? Yes. You have. Say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Have you ever heard of World Star Hip Hop? You have it? No. Well, you will. I'll make you famous. Are you trolling me or are you being dead ass serious? So, no, I'm being dead ass serious. I know, and it's sad. Why? Why at half a hundred years old do you deserve a. Why do you deserve. I don't know why anybody deserves anything, but why do you at half a hundred deserve a high value man? When your husband was a junk dealer. Yeah. Mm. I'm not I'm not understanding. Well help me understand what I'm not understanding. Who who's your child's father? The, my ex husband. That's as high as you get. What do you that's as high as you get. And that's based on your research? No, it's based on what I'm talking to. It's based on most people. Why should a man come after you, older, more used, and pay more than the man that you gave the highest honor you can, a woman can give a man? Mm. Mm. I see. Yeah. Well, perhaps because maybe he has already done the same thing. Mm, no, but he can go get a younger version. But why would he? Because it's better. Says who? Says an older but man. I that you, says a man my age. I wouldn't touch you when I can get a 26-year-old you without the kid. But you wouldn't get the experience or you wouldn't get the wits or the wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Who? I don't want to experience I don't want to eat shit, but that's a meal that's been experienced. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. See, I want my filet. I want to eat my own filet. I don't want someone else to eat it. Then I go get the shit. You know, that's, that's I, I, I don't reject mm. it, but, you know, I, I won't guess. take it because I know you can't necessarily reject me, but it feels like, gosh, come on, Kevin. What? Why do I'm, I'm I'm being honest? Why do you need a high value man as a postmenopausal woman? I didn't say need. Well, why do you want one? 
If you didn't want one in your prime, listen, ma'am, let's just be, let's be realistic. In your prime, when you had birthing years ahead of you, womb left in your womb, new experiences and magic of a new woman. Why did you not need a high value man then? But now when you're almost half a hundred, when there's nothing new, why do you need those resources and experience? Can I tell you? Yes, please. Well, I've always wanted it, mm. youth, but because I was born in the projects, the ghettos of Chicago, mm-hmm. rooted in a lot of trauma, I didn't have a value of myself, so I projected that. Okay. I think I'm worthy of someone like you or mm. with the, the caliber of man that you are, so I didn't attract that guy. We attract what we are. Precisely. So, man. Where in the where in the world where in the world do high where where in the world do men who are quote unquote high value okay choose older women as the default setting after they have their value proposition in order? Where has that ever happened in the history of mankind? I mean, Lisa where? Nichols. Where? Where? Lisa Nichols just got married. Ma'am, I said, ma'am, I said as the default setting. Well, I can't answer that question precisely. I don't know. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, no, you can't. Okay. I didn't. So, again, where in the world, throughout history, do men who are higher value, high value, choose older women as their default setting for mates after they have already become high value? I would just probably say probably nowhere. Why? Perhaps because they have um, options. Which are? Younger Mm. women. Yes, because a younger woman can actually give their end of the social contract. Fertility, youth, exclusive access to their womb for my time, attention, and resources. That's the deal. You have already given your t- you given your fertility, youth, exclusive access to your womb to another man. You should still be mated and bonded to that man going off into the sunset and dying with him. That's how human beings have always worked. But now we're telling, we have women your age range saying, I want now a man who is higher value than the man for whom I chose to have a child and give life to. That would be a bad deal for that man because he couldn't even get a child from you. You know what? Thank you, because now I could um, just accept the fact that it wasn't my call this time in life, right? That I, I just didn't, um, I didn't do it. It's almost like, well, you know, wanting well, the to... Qu- my, my question is, it doesn't even make logical sense to want a man of high value at your age. What is wrong with a man <laughs> of average value? Kevin. Yes. That could be a harsh reality. I'll say that. Why? Why? Yes. Let me think about that. Maybe if because... You, if, you, if you had simply a high school diploma, would you still want a high-value man today? No. Thank you. You're basing your want of a man based upon your educational attainment and your so-called socioeconomic value. And that is not how it has ever worked for women. Your social, your sexual marketplace value is your looks, your physicality, and your womb. That is how it has always been. But you just proved that because you have a piece of paper, you think that increases your value. And women are often trying to get men to value their things that we don't value because and experience. Of I didn't say that. I never said that. Well, if you had a high school diploma, what? Okay, the the assumption is that you think your degree and your experience makes you more valuable to a man. 
and I think the personal growth and development and some of the childhood inner wounds that I've healed make me better. I think the fact no that- No one want, no, we want women who don't have any of that. Well, we don't want women who don't have, no, see, ma'am, see. What, tell me where you're going to find one of those. Uh, it's just called 25. Well, no, that's not No, true. it's called 20, no, it's called 20, see, see what that, you're basically, that's listen, that's listen, cool. listen. No, don't, don't, well, first off, check oh, okay. that, first off, check that shit. Check that shit smooth because you cannot make men sh be shamed for who we are. Don't get upset that you got your shit together at half a hundred. Whatever it is, you got yourself together and, and now. Why, if you were this at 23, maybe. <laughs> but now the story is now men are bad because we don't want to deal with the scarred up See, you got scars and scabs over the wounds. We don't yeah. want scars or scabs. We want smooth ass skin because yeah. somebody else put those marks there. We don't want the marks another man put on there. We the only marks we want on you is maybe the ones we put on there because at least we know what we're fucking paying for. Oh. So if your son, your son, right? Yes. Your son, you'd want him to become a high value man. I do. And then you'd want him to date a woman 47 years old with scars and scabs and everything else. Or a 27 year. Huh? Thank you very much. <laughs>